April 8, 2012, Resurrection Sunday. I woke this morning thinking about and praising the Lord in spirit and truth. I was thanking him for his awesome love that keeps me. I had an image come to my head, a vision of people. So it was like the entire world's population walking towards a cliff. I did not see a bottom of this cliff, but it appeared dark. Once over the cliff, they could not come back. There were people that seemed to be everyday normal people falling off this cliff. There were marching bands, religious people, people watching TV, everybody falling off the cliff. There were huge, massive, what appeared to be 30 to 50 foot signs. I was positioned behind them. I could not see any writing on these signs, but they were at the cliffs warning the people that the cliffs they were about to encounter. The people, the world, ignored these warnings and kept heading towards the cliff. The world is marching towards that cliff. The world does not give a care about how society has changed and is changing. Modern media is guilty for inciting hate, hatred and racism. Presidents seek to challenge and change highest courts in the land. The world follows its master, the devil, to the cliff. Despite warnings given, the program world blindly follows what they think is justice. What matters to them? Perhaps they will wake up before the fall. Perhaps it's too late. Those who worship the Lord in spirit and truth and spend time with him, they seek him. They cling to him. The anxieties of this world leave them when they call his name. They long to be with him. They are found with his spirit dwelling in them. What is more important to you? What you perceive as life or actual truth? I can worship the Father in spirit and truth anywhere and everywhere, every day. I do so with joy in my heart, peace in my soul. Do you? Can you do it for one day? Those who have passed from death to life are his people. They are peculiar people. They have had his love from above expounded to them in the spiritual realm. They worship him in spirit and truth everywhere, every day. Keep your thoughts turned to him every day. Do not look to the left or the right. Situations, cares of this life. Keep your eyes focused on him. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Keep your eye on the prize. Stand firm with his peace, love, and joy in your heart. These situations are tests. Look to him for all the answers. Life is an open book test. You can even ask for help. You can even ask him for directions. You can even ask him for a sign. You can even ask him for the actual answer. If you know him, then keep your eye on the prize. Stand firm with his peace, love, and joy in your heart. If you do not know him, Jesus is the bridge across this cliff. He is the only way across. You can either cross the bridge in him or you fall.